Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, usually I don't make a lot of videos, but um, I'm just gonna make a video about this little Nintendo Mini Classic thing or Super Nintendo Mini Classic. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a little upset and I'm a little happy at the same time. I'm a little upset because obviously I didn't get one. I didn't get one of the Nintendo Mini Classic either. You know surprise there you know seems like the only people who could get these things are you know the scalpers who usually don't have no job or whatever they could go out there and sit down for hours on and wait till the store opens up you know at the crack of dawn to get these things um i've even seen a, a youtube video where, where a guy he went to the store bought one left <coughs> came back with his mother bought another one and I mean, sorry about that. Just, just pathetic. You know what I'm saying? He just, he was doing so much just to get his hands on these things so he could turn around, double, triple up the prices to try to make a buck. And the funny part about it is, you do all that work, and when you sell it, that money is not even like you're making a whole bunch of money. So you, he's not gonna be able to do that much with the money, anyways. You know, just to annoy people. Um, now when I was back home in Jamaica, you know, all, all I knew was Nintendo. So that's kind of like where the following started. All I knew was Nintendo. We never had Sega Genesis when I was growing up in Jamaica. I only learned about Sega Genesis when I, when I first came here to this country. So, you know, my first video game system that I got for myself or my father bought me that I owned was a Nintendo Game Boy. Still have it to this day. Um... My second system was a Super Nintendo. And the point I'm trying to make is it was never an issue for you to walk into the store, buy a, you know, a Nintendo product. You walk in there, buy whatever you wanted, and go about your business. You didn't have to wait in line. And if you wanted to be the first to have a new product, then that's different. But you could just sit down, wait a couple of days, wait till the, the rush is over, the long lines, go in there, buy your system, go home and enjoy. I'm having a hard time believing that Nintendo cannot duplicate or replicate I think duplicate is a proper word this Super Nintendo Mini because number one I seen a guy on YouTube he used a 3D printer to make his own Super Nintendo Mini and his Super Famicom the dude even went as far as to make little mini cartridges that could fit in the cartridge slot because the ones that he made you could the the, the the cartridge slot actually was functional. The eject button was functional. So you cannot tell me that Nintendo cannot make a couple thousands of these. They could probably crank out a couple thousand of these a day if they really wanted to. But obviously we know Nintendo's not going to do that because they're a billion dollar company. And they rather create this, you know, false sense of rarity than actually satisfying their customers it seems um, because they obviously know people want this product because of all the, the things people are going through to get this product and I'm pretty sure they, 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 they're on the internet to see the kind of BS we got to deal with in terms of scalping and you know all that good stuff now the good thing that I'm seeing is I guess these scalpers are having a hard time moving the product because of the, the prices that they're asking for it if any of you guys remember when the Nintendo Mini Classic came out people were asking absurdly ridiculous amount of money I've seen a guy ask $80,000 for one if you saw a Nintendo Mini Classic when it just came out on eBay for under $500 that was considered a deal in the scalping world now the Super Nintendo Mini Classic came out and I'm seeing prices ranging from 140 to $200 on the high side 300 in the scalping world that's a good deal now granted I'm not gonna buy it because I'm not gonna support their shady business practices I'm not going to pay over $100 for a Super Nintendo Mini when the $79.99. It's not going to work. I'd rather not have it. And, and like, as other people have mentioned all over the internet, they have Raspberry Pis. I have all, a lot of you know ROMs on my, on my MacBook. I could play these games, hook up a, uh, my PlayStation 4 controller to my MacBook, and I could play almost every game on the Super Nintendo Mini except for Star Fox 2, I don't think. That's the thing, the only ROM I can't get for some reason. But anyways, and, and, and even now, it probably will become available 
since the game is now out. But I just wanted one just to collect or, you know, play around with, but mainly to collect for nostalgic purposes, obviously, because, you know, all the games I pretty much ha I could get. And um, and most people feel the same way. You know, you could get a Raspberry Pi, get all these games. So a lot For a lot of true fans, they're not trying to get it to, oh, I'm going to, this is going to be my main gaming system. It's, it's, just, it's a collector's piece. It's something for nostalgic reasons you want to go back to your youth and you have these scalpers who are just the you know just ruining it for a lot of people coming on here having three systems trying to sell it for for double or triple the cost of what they paid for it is just you know it's just it, it just sickens me and you know I don't know what else to say about it to be honest that that probably haven't been said already but um i wish nintendo would would up the the production because like i said if i seen one person could use a 3d printer to make these things i'm sure nintendo could do the same and probably crank out a thousand of these things a day flood the market with them because we want them people want them you know what i'm saying you flood the market with these things people will buy these damn things and that would also put the damn scalpers out of business because if everybody could get their hands on one, then what are the scalpers going to do? They're going to sit on three or four of them and try to sell them to who? Nobody because everybody going to have one. Anybody could walk in the store and buy one for seventy nine ninety nine. So why the hell would I look at this scalper and pay $150? I need, no, granted, I wouldn't do that anyways. But th that would make it more, that would validate that, that even more that the scalpers would just be like, oh, crap. I'm sitting on the product that I can't sell. So therefore, that would alleviate some of the scalping, I think, in my opinion. But, you know, these are things that I'm sure Nintendo have seen because I'm, I know they look at the Internet. You know, you can't tell me that they don't look at it to see what's going on. So they, 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 they know how to fix this problem. But I don't know. Sometimes I think they don't really care. They don't want to fix it, you know. So I don't know. And I... I've been looking for one since they came out, you know, even before. Um, and I could have gotten one from GameStop. It was for $140. And I didn't pull the trigger because I'm like, no, I'm not buying no. It was a package one from GameStop for $140. And, I, and, I, and I, all I had to do was push the button and I would have ordered it. And I changed my mind. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to pay double just to get a bunch, a couple bull crap that. I don't want, I don't need. It's almost like that from, I think somebody was saying it came from that Think Geek website where they package it with all this bull crap that you're not gonna use anyways. So I was like, nah, I just went, I just closed the page. And so I missed out on getting it, but I'm, you know, I, I'm just, I, I just want my money to go to Nintendo, you know, because these scalpers are not doing anything but just standing in the line, that's it. Why the hell do you wanna get triple the, the cost or something just for you to and I could see if they if the systems were hacked which I don't think anybody would want to buy a hacked system because I think hack it actually depreciates the value of the system if you're a collector and you want that um, you know you, you want it to be like you know what's the word I'm looking for like you want it to, you, want, you want it to retain that um, that collector ability you know you don't want it to be hacked or whatever you don't want it to be messed with you want it to be original you want the originality to still be there so you know but they're not even the, the scout is not even having to do nothing but just getting in line first to get three four of them i seen one video where got one guy had 16 of them how the hell do you get your hands on 16 that's almost like they, they had some inside help from like a GameStop or something and they took the whole inventory and probably trying to sell it for three four hundred dollars and then whoever helped them get get all the inventory they're gonna get you know a cut off of all the money it is just crazy man but Nintendo need to do something and, and the simple solution is make more of the products so it's more available just like when the Super Nintendo was out it was hot people wanted it they made a whole bunch of them people would go out buy the damn things you can scalp those because if, if you go anywhere and buy them you know simple solution 
But anyways, let me know what y'all think, man. Um, and let me know if any one of y'all were able to get your hands on one of these damn things. I'm still looking. I know they're all sold out everywhere. I refuse to pay any scalper money, so I probably will never get it. And I'm hearing rumors around, you know, YouTube that they're probably possibly going to make a Nintendo 64 Mini. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same damn thing over again. The scalpers going to get their hands on it. And uh, so let me know if y'all got, got one, you know, if you had to pay the scalper prices or if you just went ahead and just, you know, bought it regularly, you know. But um, anyways, man, y'all take it easy, man. All right, peace.